Hello guys, welcome back to another episode here on London Decker Travel with Andre. Hope everybody is keeping well. Today I really want to talk about this main topic. It's not really out there in on YouTube or Facebook, um, but I thought I might as well cover it because it is a real, real good opportunity to actually talk about this. And if you are looking for a new job, this is for you. Anyway, so the main title is in the, in the top description. London or the United Kingdom is short of bus drivers. Is that true or false? And I'm about to tell you in today's YouTube video, so don't go anywhere. Hello everybody, welcome back to London Decca Travel with Andre this weekend. Is it true or is it false? Are we here in London or in the United Kingdom short of UK bus drivers? Well, for those who said false, you are completely wrong, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Andre, I've been a bus driver over the last two years and a half here in South London and I'm proud to be one. This is not only just going to be promoting bus drivers, but for those who want to join the bus industry. But this is also just going to be an announcement and a testimonial why is bus drivers so short bus drivers. I mean, literally, so short. We are literally so short. Um, the job overall is not all honky-dory. Okay, I don't want to put this into fantasizing people's minds or heads or in their hearts. It's not all that fantasize, but it can be all fantasize, right? All due to, to, due to the driver, okay? I, as a driver, I like to go to work every day in the morning, out or the evening, or night shift, whatever shift I'm doing. And many drivers will say on here, I'm cheerful, I'm happy, I'm silly, I'm naughty. <laughs> and um, I'm always, I've got a little giggle, a laugh. Um, I never am um, serious, but if I, I am serious, it's something because due to the fact that it's happened out on the road or whether a passenger has upset me. And we don't speak enough of that. We don't speak and we don't share a testimonial of why does bus drivers get angry? And uh, why do we lose our temper? Why do we cry? Why do we lose our jobs? But um, it does happen. And there's been many stories and met many testimonials of bus drivers do leave every day bus drivers leave the bus industry every day and there's not enough people coming in through the door there are more people leaving than coming in is this due to is it because of pay well some drivers do leave because of pay there are some people leave the bus industry because due to stress because they can't deal with it no more there are people who leave because they've got long-term illnesses because simply because the bus industry made them in that way so if i was the head of the operations of the bus network in london what would i change how would i make sure bus drivers stay well first of all i would want to listen to the bus drivers and make and ask that question what do you want to be changed and i think a lot of bus drivers want better pay i think that's one key thing that bus drivers have been moaning about for the last century and a half be moaning be moaning about pay. Pay has been at the lowest point for the bus drivers and bus industry over the network over in London as well as in the United Kingdom. So bus drivers have been receiving, let's say, up to 30k salary, 25k in the last two and a half years. Whereas train drivers that earn around about 50k up to 60k per annum. So it's a massive difference there. Train drivers and bus drivers will do exactly the same jobs. We pick you up and we drop you off, open closed doors press a PA announcements, let you guys know about diversion, stop closures, uh, acknowledge you uh, and we see your tickets and things like that. Um, so what, why is there a difference in the pay salary of a rail staff and a, and a road bus driver? It does not make no sense. 
but uh, I can't find the actual answer for that for you guys today so maybe I might be able to find out in the later in the next couple of few months uh, going forward but uh, being a bus driver ladies and gentlemen here in London in the United Kingdom the reason why it's so short is because that uh, bus drivers we got to take on a lot of information absorb of how to drive this bus carefully there's a lot more road users road users on the road now there's literally more pe people trying to get to places and it's just a complete mess it's a complete mess and um the job used to be a job where people used to love and used to enjoy used to make money used to do a lot of overtime but now it's not about money i think a lot of people are now realizing that uh, the bus industry has now changed just to just to please the customers but uh, i think over the next coming few years i think the uh companies or the or the, the head of the operation of the bus network industry will have to change the way how it does its things to treat bus drivers because a lot of Londoners a lot of UK residents do rely on buses than on trains because trains do fail sometimes because trains do become suspended but people do jump on the rail Ooh, that's that's horrible people do uh, no so uh, trains do uh, do get stuck at red signal trains do have signal problems trains do do all sorts and and people do rely on buses buses are the iconic thing across the whole entire world we live by bus and the buses are runs every 24 hour and buses are becoming new new buses every time but there are new buses but there isn't enough new bus drivers and I'm just thinking like hmm, what's going on here I and mean, literally what's going on here so my from my experience of being a bus driver for the last two and a half years in london ladies and gentlemen boys and girls has been very fun but i will not lie to you i will not lie to you as a testimonial on here on facebook and youtube being a bus driver is stressful um and it's not always a honky dory story life monday to friday monday to saturday what other day or shift i'm working but I can assure you that being a bus driver, um, it's been a time where I had to think about me and have to think about um, how I can deliver a better service and how I cannot go home feeling stressed. So, yeah, so... Um, if you are a passenger right now and you are witness or experience of a bus driver looking sad or you wait at a bus stop for a long time for a bus can i please urge you passengers to stop reframing this and this goes out to not just here in london or united kingdom if you're watching in america you're watching in other parts of your country or your your community please do not do not have an argument or have a go at a bus driver. Simply because you do not know what is going on in that route, whether that's going on in that garage, you do not know what's going on in that driver, whether that driver is well, whether that driver could, you know what I mean? Um, it could be a bus shortage, there could be a bus on diversion, there could be a passenger could be taken sick, a police could have called off the road. You just don't know RTC, so much reasons why a bus could turn up late. But I please must urge you this to all Londoners and to all UK uh, residents and to all over people across the round the whole entire world and globe. Please start checking your travel. We've all got smartphones. This. We've got smartphone and devices. 4G, 5G, 6G networks, whatever, or Wi-Fi. There's no excuses. Please make sure you leave on time to go to work, to go to school, go home, go to meetings wherever you're doing your local shopping, whatever you're doing, please check. And if your bus does not run on time, it does not come in time, fine, you use another alternative route. A lot of passengers always have a fight and have a stick with a bus driver because simply saying, where have you been? I've been waiting 40 minutes for a bus. And I'm thinking to my mind, I'm thinking to myself, have you really been waiting 40 minutes outside in the cold, in the rain, just for me to turn up? And you having a go at me saying, where have I been? That's not good. So, ladies and gentlemen, if anybody does ask me that question, and I'm not afraid to say this right now, <laughs> after two years in experience, 
I will be looking at you, but I will not say anything, because I have the right to remain silent. Anything I do say, some of you may think that I'm being rude, so I'd rather remain to keep my mouth quiet. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a story of me being a bus driver in London, and hopefully this vlog has been kind of educational and uh, had been some sort of idea what it's like being a bus driver. Um, but yeah, being a bus driver in London is not easy. And uh, this is why bus drivers are always short. So, you wanna be a bus driver? You think you can, you can handle it? Then apply. <laughs> Guys, I uh, hope you do enjoy this vlog today. Please do subscribe if you've listened for the very first time. Please give it a like and comment and share with all your friends and family. And please do check out my main website, main website which is www.landonlecker.co.uk. Guys, I'll see you next weekend on another YouTube video on, on Facebook and as well as YouTube. So take care and goodbye. Oh, just before you guys just go, um, I will be talking talking about over the next few months and weeks. Uh, if you want to be a bus driver or if you want to uh, find out a bit more about this YouTube video or whatever, please do subscribe. Um, because I'm, I'm going to be uploading some amazing contents. Um, so yeah, and plus I'm going to be traveling around the world uh, from 2021. Sorry. This 2020 COVID-19 coronavirus had been boring. So boring. Literally, like, literally. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, man.